Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back um, to the public hearings of the TRRC. Imam, you have the floor. If you can offer some prayers, please. Thank you, Chair. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyya kana abudu wa iyya kana sta'in ihin nasirat al-mustaqin. Sirat al-jina al-umta alayhim qayrin ba'du bi'alayhim wa la'dalin. Rabbana innana amanna faghfir lana zunubana wa qina azaba al-nar. As-sabirina wa al-sadiqina wa al-qanitina wa al-munfiqina wa al-mustaghfiruna bi al-ishkhar. شهد الله أنه لا إله هو ملائكة وقول العلم قائما بالقسط لا إله إلا هو العزيز الحكيم رب العاتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسفون والسلام على المسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله آمين شكرا إمام جالو بشاب يهب الفلو بليس Thank you chairman Lord God Almighty God of grace, God of mercy, God of compassion. We continue to ask that of your almightiness that you will grant all of us humankind that you have made in your image and in your likeness. That we will be bold enough to confess of the evil deeds that each and every one of us have done that we should be ready to surrender because there is nothing uh, that is hidden from your sight. All knowing that, Lord, we should be, we should not be afraid to tell our fellow human being and to confess of our evil deeds so that from now on, repentance and reconciliation will work for the common good of all. And so we continue to submit all the witnesses that will come here in the TRRC, and we ask that by your grace, they will be bold enough to confess of what they have done in the past, and to seek for forgiveness and for reconciliation. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, um, uh, Bishop from um, Odeko. Council, we are still dealing with uh, the National Intelligence Agency. As we have said, and uh, many of us here, that it was um, uh, an, the institution that was at the center of uh, gross violations of human rights and uh, abuses that uh, uh, we have been mandated to look into. Hence, um, uh, the focus, as we as said earlier, uh, is still on uh, uh, that agency. And before you bring in your witness, you may want to just uh, uh, throw some light on uh, um, the, our continuing focus on the NIA, and that this is going to go on for a little bit more a little bit longer. Council, you have the floor, please. Well, good morning, Mr. Chairman, commissioners, and members of the audience. Indeed, we are still proceeding with the <coughs> uh, investigations into the violations uh, carried out or perpetrated by NIA, by the NIA. Uh, we are still on this particular topic simply because the NIA was at the heart uh, of the violations that occurred. Uh, quite clearly what has emerged is that uh, Jami has used the NIA as the place uh, and the instrument uh, he would use to uh, torture Gambians and instill fear on them so that uh, uh, he would uh, achieve his objectives of perpetuating himself in power. Uh, the, because of uh, the central role played by the NIA in this whole matter, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, violations occurred at the NIA, so uh, we are still on it. Um, the witness for today is one person who was uh, adversely mentioned as head of special operations, and uh, uh, we are calling him today to, for the, to answer to the uh, 
allegations against him, but also to help the Commission understand what were the functions uh, of the special operations and how they contributed to the violation of rights of government. Uh, thank yeah. you very much, Mr. Thank Kahn. you very much, um, uh, for um, that um, bit of information. I think it's good from time to time to remind the public uh, of the roadmap that we have going on. You may now proceed um, to bring in your witness if you're ready. Hi, Lamin Dabo. 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 Good morning, Mr. Witness. Isama Sedo. Welcome to the TRRC. Be bismillahirrahmanirrahim. TRRC Jang. You have. Could you that thing the Sorry? the rosary bead the beads that you have on you? Could you just pass it over to one of your family members? Or keep it away somewhere. Thank you very much. Number. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. May, may I crave the indulgence of the commissioners to accommodate us a little bit while that vehicle is being moved so that uh, the reflection would not uh, affect the commissioners uh, where they are seated. Uh, our sincere apologies for that. Uh, in the meantime, uh, Mr. Dabo, welcome to the TRRC. <laughs> Mr. Dabo, bismillah the TRRC. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, could you sit either closer to the microphone or you draw it closer to yourself? Okay. Uh, well, uh, take a sitting posture 
That would make you feel comfortable. Si si nyama, mambe de handila, si atara, si si fanso tu anyama. Okay, welcome. Uh, Mr. Dabo, you have just taken an oath. Mr. Dabo, ye kali wole ke jang saayin. To speak the truth. Webe tu nyale fala. Ah, yes. You know it's a criminal offense in the laws of this country to lie under oath. Luati nya lom nyimbanko kang purye kali wuko la yena kumasoto balofo. Nga kalamta. I'm aware. It is also an offense to provide false testimony to the TRRC. Nyimfanamu luati nya alti ka kumasoto balofo TRRC siwoto jang. Nga kalamta. I'm aware. Today, I want to discuss the following things with you. Bi mbela fila niye kacha nyinkulu la mbina menu falateng. Bismillah. The, your biographical information. Follow, follow, italo mjumati, ito ni kontongo ibote daming ifongo ikalango Kenya. Your, the creation of the Special Operations Unit of the NIA and its functions. Ani. Yewo bunda melon di NIA ika fai special operations walem dukulu melu ye nyala tombong itamando aning ila dukumu muneti. The operations that you participated in? Aning ibarata dukulu melu la itema abeta melu to. And specifically we would want to talk to you about particular incidents. And we call them the lafla ke in the diamond the code will many along call mu kuke ring on leti foka pare. One is silaba samate. Kilimbije wole m silaba samate la kuoti. The second is Lamin Kabu and all the people he was arrested together with in the botched drug deal that was taking place in Birkama. Fulanja kwa wale mla mimi kabuti, alim, ya ni mulo mimi nube muto nyola, bring wosira fenja wakunya akuo betama akuo mene kita brika makuo mimi kita jie ufanala tanya mimi. That should include la min kabu, Fernando Ku, Ansumana Fati, la min Sima, Tijandur, Alaji Sajo, and and Karamo something. Wale Karamo. Wale mimi mulo tete aini mimi nube to foteng wole be kuingi kono. You would also talk about Abbas Jaju, Joko Sow, Seydou Sow, uh, and Kamara. Mbe lafila fana niedia mu, nyi muru la kuwala Joko Sow, anin, menu tofote mfuka nabula Seydou Kamara la. We would also talk about the case of Yusufa Seydi. Andu mbe Yusufa Seydi fana mbe lafila niyo fana na kuwakacha. We would talk about... Uh, Sajo Ture, others call him Mustafa Ture. Mbe lafila fana niye Sajo Ture, Sajo Ture la kumofu dolu kafa ya Mustafa Ture. From Faji Kunda. Membo da Faji Kunda. We have to talk about the Yaya Jamis Bucha, who was taken from Abuko. Mbe diyamu la Yaya Jamis la Busur la la ye membo ndi Abuko. We will talk about Sehu Drame from GNPC. Mbe Sehu Drame fana na kumofu la membo da GNPC. We will talk about Sam Kambai and Keba Seka and Co. The Sam Kambai and Keba Seka fana nakumu fala la ateni mo kote ngolo. We will talk about the arrest and disappearance of Abdullah Gay. Abdullah Gay ya muta ayemanta bitu ngoko fana kete nyama mbela fala niyo fana kacha. We will talk about your role in the torture of Captain Jalo and Captain Job. Uh, during the along the margins of the investigations of the 30 December 2014 attack. We will talk about your involvement uh, with Jahate of uh, Golden Real Estate. We will talk about Anin Lansa na Yafa, Ibrahim Ajayte, Ibrahim Ajayte, and Konjira. Anin Konjira. We will talk about your interactions with them. Ita ni wali ya kulu menu tama ni mbelafla ni wali ni yaudia mufanana. It's a long list. Ah, jamfatalde. We would want to finish today. Anu mbelafla ngabambi. If you cooperate and answer questions directly, 
we would finish quickly. Nia sono yandi yani linkaro lujabi anya matili mukang mbembandi la junale. If you don't, then we would spend a lot of time here. Ni ma ke wanya dum watumbe me la junale. So it's just like the dentist. You go there, you cooperate. The tooth is extracted easily and without much pain. Amuntra ni tata nyingiara la ya ni nyindi mungo puruka sano yandi aye nyimo bondi yesong isaje kulisi sano ya. But if the patient is difficult and does not cooperate, well, the tooth would be extracted, but it would be very painful and long and difficult. Arbitron ni ni nyindi mungu tata nyingiara la madungo ni mnyani nta wutulale itemari imana song kuli sano ya abe melal de andwa abe dimin na lefanang fajal ni nyimo be wutula. And sometimes all that would not be necessary. And don't know do you at a kilako anyan ube anyan takila lefang. So the ball is in your court. Silam bitun ko bebe laring ifangola ma fangola la. Are you ready to begin? Say ipareta le banga da muta. Yes. What are your full names? Tony Kontong Mumuneti. Tom Lamin M Dabo. My name is Lamin M Dabo. Uh, you are very soft spoken, uh, you know, so you have to speak up okay. or speak into the microphone okay. so that you would be heard clearly. But why are you like the Amo Bukasaribaka for a Kamo Lindi while I hear the Amo for microphone or Konopumul Samoy? Date and place of birth? Uluta Lunjumale and Uluta Sate Jumale. I was born in Jaraburao. I think 12 June 1976. 12 June 1976. Where did you go to school? Dada Buram Primary School. I attended Buram Primary School. 1988. To 1994. From 1988 to 1994. Uh -huh. And then? And I proceeded to Sukuta Middle School, 1994. I proceeded to Sukuta Middle School in 1994. Yeah. What is your highest level of education? <laughs> Atele seleta ila londo bunda alubeti wale mjumati. Grade nine certificate. Grade nine certificate. Do you have the certificate with you? I had asked you to bring it. For certificate wenye mbebu le jambang kato ngafu ene mpure ya nati. I think I do. Nama ya ave mbule inshallah. I think it suit me. Or I doubt I'll see it later. Correct? Mbaje lale nyato domandi. Thank you very much. Numbara. What did you do after you finished grade nine? Bria grade nine karamu bang yamu ne foloke. By the way, do you realize that grade nine is three years of education post primary school? Fanya lungo grade nine amunda imari ye ni bora primary karamu bora amunda ye sangi sababu dunne karang kala primary karamu ni nina wicho kanga walem grade nine ti. Kalamza. Kalamza. What did you do after you finished grade nine? Bria grade nine bang ye muneke. I'm thinking. I did nothing. When did you join the NIA? I joined the NIA in Kuwait, Sanjumale. Ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. And to what position were you appointed at the NIA? Ridun taje follow ke ye palasi juma le dealer NIA. Sikal security guard kantaru bundal. I was a security guard. You mean you were a security guard? Wale mi ndi ko etemo kantar la leti. At the gate. Bunda ato bang. Yes. Why were you employed as a security guard? Muna ne ita keke bunda kantarlati.
I was recruited for that. I do not know why. That was where I started from. But wasn't it clear that because of your level of education, that was the only position or one of the positions for which you were qualified? For il a non do la dango adanta daming fo le manke dalilo ti munanna e yo palaso di la wala wonem palaso ti il a non do e nimmen makamo tembeta sikeno it could be it is not it could be amanka ko asekeno that was the truth wala mutu nyaati that is what you were qualified for wala mun palasoti ila londo abe tembo mento isem do ko men keno seeing that the certificate you had was in fact below secondary 4 certificate kadu ya jela ko certificate o membe bulo abe secondary 4 ma kamo ye dumale it was the lowest certificate anyone can have in the education system of this country wo mo certificate le ti meya lon ko wole duma yan kata certificate on beti mo semen soto no ni yakarango ke nyim banko kan nere mo kan i'm listening to you you have to answer the question this was the lowest certificate issued by the education system of this country be jabiro kelale nyino certificate o ti men jita certificate o beti karam bulu men karanta karam bulu to isi men soto no natara e karanta gambia la nyi karam bulu santon ko leto gasi keno because mon fanta do ko i said it could have been because i did not employ myself no the question is nyilin karo mu men this is a matter of fact which you know we muto nyalti men ete fama yalo do you know of any other certificate for issued under the authority of the state which was below grade 9 certificate for do ete yalo ne ban certificate do si soto nyim banko ka nyim banko la karango silo lu be nyamin isi men dino mola me yalo ko wala jita grade 9 certificate o te duma fo abi jele bay tesi bo men kalama Of course, you know you only you know of none. Wala nyinti atije. Do you agree? Hisi ndo wala. Namwe. I heard you, Mr. Witness. Answer the question. Sedo nyini karo jabi. Ma olong. I don't know that. You don't know of any certificate that is below Grade Nine certificate. No. Anta? I say honey, no. No. Thank you very much. You walked at the gate. You And you were later transferred inside. Wokola in a te sound conoto. Correct? Walembang. True. And what to what responsibility? Bri dundi conoto ye mundu kule di la woto. I was made an oddly. And do you know what is an oddly? Give us a description, a definition of oddly. For ya lone munem oddly la do kote wo oddly ya munem a fran fancy ni ya jambang. Utumo ni do kum nti ka. At the time, my responsibilities were. Director General ka kala kantar lasi nika ma koe la hajo do kodo. You have become the uh, guard, the guard of the director general, and also to help him with uh, other tasks. What are these other tasks? Mule ungo do kulo do luti ka mako imena. I see official assignments, kiraria or whatever. He could give you official assignments, also send you on errands. The fact of the matter is, as orderly. You are to be his close protection person, correct? A kwa mmenti wole mnyinti ni kita odile wote amunta. Itile kake abalama kantalati ka kanta mensi katala. Correct? 
Yes, that's part of it. To carry his things, like his papers, his documents, his briefcase, and things like that. Correct? Ponte. Yes. And to be his errand boy, to be running his errands. Anina sula ta kilaria la ayemari ki katra nina ala kilaria rola. Yes. It involves no clerical or intellectual task. Andu do kuta kono me ya longo asike kila kia do kote walla asike lundi ding karim do kote. Correct. Fund. We, the commission would deduct, deduct an answer from his silence. Yes, it's you have no response? I do. I have a response. Respond, please. The work of security. Yeah, they are describing it, mean, to my understanding. It's more than the manner in which you described it, by my understanding. Much more security member called intelligence. Especially uh, matters of intelligence. Hmm. Yes, but and at this yeah. stage, at this stage, did you undergo any training? But what tempo? For do you assemble a katadu ko karambang? Nemo security guard to get. Could you, could you answer the question? If you are a security guard at the gate, your responsibilities are not just to open and close the gate. Could you answer the question? The gate, did you undergo any training? For the security guard, yes, we had a lot of training there. Did you did you do any training on personal security? Fulu ye karangote le me ya longo wole mhalama dumu tang karanga ye karangote alondo. Yang Indo training jamake. We had several Indo trainings. Like what? Nalo beko. Like be me am security ati be detainil bin kasoto ye be garde la nyadi le. Okay. Like what is security? How do you guard the detainees in there? Mulmin kana. The people that come in. La nanyalu ni la tanyalu. Yeah, coming in and going out. Office all men be konoto. The offices inside. Mulmin kataji. The people that go in there. Are you trained on the people who go there? Oh, ya kana le proof molo menu kata office holder kata. Momo na reje ya kata office ho office tenye ndalo na nyinga kata ni office kare to ya record adunda watu me na fundi da watu me. Anyone that comes to the office, you record their time of arrival to what offices they are going into, and also you record their departure time. Are you talking about the job, or are you talking about the training? Ebe do ku Kenya le fo kamba mfudu ye karangi mendi te kulo menu karang ebo le fo kang. You taught me that as well. Okay. And what else? Limu. I think other than that, I think problems should be solved by emergency or by Almarta Alkamara Mollela. And also, God forbid, forbid, if there is any um, serious happening there, since you are there guarding people. If such situations arise, how you would be able to protect yourself and also to protect those detainees? Uh, you would agree with me from what you have just described. Mm -hmm. This is just some orientation on the job that you are to do on a day-to-day -day basis. True. Fonte. Zonta. I agree. After working, for how long did you work as an orderly? 
yewu chejele doku odli yala yewu atijele ke odli yala physical security or odli 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 two years so i think two years two two sanyi fulani fenda a little over two years and uh, who was the dg uh, to whom you served as odli Malam DG tinu, ite mumen na oddly tinu watu mu. Double Marina, double Marina Safla. I served double Marina, and then. Harusambu. Harusambu, and then. Mm, Pajalo. Pajalo. And after that, where did you go? Biro Bodale. You moved to. Biro Bodale, saundi mintole. I was the saundi investigation department. I was moved to the investigation department. Who moved you there? You male ye saundi je? Omodo Hydra, if I can't remember well. Omodo Hydra. How did this happen? Okay, na nyadi ne. In transfer investigation department, ne pro ako pro nga do ko njifa mo. He transferred me to the investigation department so that I'll be able to get to know the job better. To become, to become an officer, to become an agent. Purunin kamala yena ke agent oti doko bunda afan konoje. Isn't it? Fond. Yes. Ha. Yes. What was the minimum qualification for agent? Papulka ke agent wote wale mdo kula mbeta la wado kula kuna amari la londo makamu nyanta tembe la juma mtembe juma anyanta anyanta tala la tembe juma leto dito wale mno la tembo I couldn't have known that at the time I couldn't have known what the qualifications were at the time did you sit to the entrance exam so do you only contribute to the bank examination what kind of examination? The selection exams. Palaso do lobi je na mane samba je ika tombondi o keli nyameng ika londi kundi bo leke folo ika exam leke niya pass yata o palaso do for yeo keli ba keni ninka ol. Did you sit to the selection exam? Throughout, na taro je man selection exam kalam da je. I have not been aware of any selection examination there in my entire entirety of uh, the, in, the entire time that I was there. We do understand that oftentimes the NIA used to conduct selection exams. We'll move on. I was not aware of that. And from investigations, where where did you go? Three butter kisi kisi ro bunda la investigations. Yes, I only mean to la kote ke. How long did you remain at investigation? Yeah, we change the investigation. So what did you do? Investigation. No, no, no. Sanji fula or Sanji fula or more? Kaje. I think I spent two years or more there. And then? Three butter la. Which year? Which year? Sanji malo forty. You can refer to your documents. Zila kaito lujube pruwe asi akilo bulandi. Take two thousand from two thousand and seven up to two thousand eight nine. From two thousand and seven, my friend, it cannot be two thousand seven up to two thousand eight nine. There is no such thing as two thousand eight nine. At the kernel of it, about 2007 and 2008, nine, or man, the course of the movie, I will allow to allow to allow to. From 2007 to 2009. From 2007 to 2009. And what did you do after that? Bring about all the other money that you got. In terms of special operation, okay, investigation. Bring the investigation. While I was at the investigation department. Bring pajal pajalo e selectiono doke nu officeoto. 
Toa Jalok conducted a selection in the office. And the, the, some people were selected. A unit created a special operation. He created a unit called the special operations. Okay. I was amongst the people that were selected. And so he will call people and they will go to his office. Then few you know, officers were selected. You will discuss with him and then after that few officers were selected. Obviously, at this time, you had developed a good relationship with Pajalo, isn't it? Before Tembo, we had had the inim Pajalo al Tembo al Bediaring for Amantara wale nyama. No, no. We are in Tembo Pajalo Mandali. I was not even used to Pajalo. I served Pajalo for a very short period. <coughs> My friend, <laughs> you were oddly to Pajalo. Yes. I say, Golan and Koenga served partly. That is why I said I only served him partly. Uh, look, Mr. Witness, yeah. you developed a close relationship with, the, with, your, with your principal, with whom you served as oddly, carrying his things on a daily basis, taking him from his home to the office, going with him everywhere. You developed a bond. Is I'm that not true? Well, I'm going to go. Even when I'm oddly, Ikala kai tulu samba ena kata ena kana alika kujama tamandi nyote mawiri atele mwele kebari wakono fena yedali aliyahadamu ya alakuli kata nyola hani fusilang alienyo fahamu fahamu kwenye nyama. Council, ekonga tonya refoe, I will not lie. Council, you told me to tell you the truth, and I will not lie. Just answer the questions. Nimpa yalo mo soto, buga samba suwakono. We don't have that relationship with Pajalo. I never took him home. We only meet at the office. And also, the time that I served him was not a long time. Give us time, Give us time frames. How long did you serve him? We always check the records. I will be careful. I don't think it's up to two months because he said that he wanted an experienced uh, guard and I was a junior officer. He called me into his office and said to me, officer, he said to me, I think I will change you. He gave me his reasons. What was the reason? He said to me, I think but all this is not going to be uh, forced out of me. I don't really want to say that. No, we, we don't force anybody to answer questions. Here is not the NIA. Where yeah, people are brutalized to, 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 to answer questions. Jamanke NIA ti kamulu tajire ya daminke tilimbali ya puri ya jabiroke. Jang mbukamu force ya jabiroke. But the law is that when you are asked questions, you are obliged, legally obliged to answer. But the reason where you give it was why I said. Mr. Jalo is late, and I do not want to say anything concerning him since what transacted, uh, what uh, transpired was between uh, the two of us. Answer the question and answer it truthfully. If you want me to say it by force, I will say it. You are not being forced. You are legally obliged to answer the question. Lua le ya fuko inyanta ya bila le amanke forcee utide. Lua enforce inzafu. If I am forced by the law, I'll say it. Answer the question. Akwe ni ninkaro. Wajalo ko akwe ni ko officer mbe falin na le because. Wajalo said to me, officer, I will change you because. I just married a Nigerian girl, and the, she's a young girl. 
and I am an elderly person. And you think we didn't do And you are a youngster. So be be official somebody and me alone. We will keep ahead. So I'll bring an officer that is a little older. This is the reason I'm in for you. He's uh, where he is, uh, and I am alive here, and this is the reason that he gave me. Where would you see the wife? I could follow what or it is a big car. I'm so jealous. I'm in trouble. You know, I do go continue. Of course, from now I'm so jealous because from now that's what. If our uh, uh, if my uh, attachment to him had continued, I will undoubtedly meet his his wife since I would be going to his home. But but you just told us a minute ago that you never used to go to his home. I never go. I never. 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 I have never been there. But what I said is that if. Mr. Uh, Witness. Mr. Witness, be Seven. careful what you say here. You see, how can you be a bad role? Can you make any bad man fall? I am very, very careful and I'm aware of what I'm saying. You just told this commission that you were never going to his house. Yes. Why would it now be the case that you, will, you would have to be going to his house? You are still in the same job. No change of job description. Why is it that we are not going to be able to do this? We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. This is why I said he told me that he will change me. Because if I continue to work for him, eventually I will go to his home. Mr. Witness, that doesn't make sense. Uh, well, they were, okay. uh, the, the, the fact film. of the matter is, before he changed you, you were going to his house. As an oddly, you are expected to escort your principal all the way to his home. That is why he changed you. I never went to Pajalo soon. Uh, let's leave the matter. The commission has enough to determine whether you are lying about not be, having been to his house or not. And then he transferred you to where? Investigation. To investigation. Even though you did not have the qualification. Yes. He did you a favor. Amunda wa mu makoro leti. Ajalo mande transfer investigation. Go mumu hira wale in transfer investigation. Ajalo did not transfer me to the investigation. It was mumu hira. It did not change the fact that you did not have the qualification. Halimbi wa mantu yani mfalinde ko ima alondo soto kato ima karang. I agree. I agree. And we received a lot of evidence here that in the NIA there was a lot of favoritism in the way in which people were given positions. And and yours is, 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 is one case in point. You agree? Jamal Jamal Wati if that was a favor done to me, it wasn't Pajalo, because we didn't have that relationship. And Hydra did it for you. It was Hydra that took me there officially. So Hydra did you that favor? If you see that way, it's okay. No. Uh, that is the way it happened. I did not see it as a fable done to me by Hedera. You just uh, Hedera is a Gambian equally like me. Yes, but you are a Gambian without qualifications. You just said it. I am a Gambian quality. Me ya longko. We do ko bunda. I men kaning ite mau londo soto utumo. You had no qualification. But I know do ko men kono for more than six years. Mantra laringe o mesino la. I was fresh from school. The work, I was learning some the work I was engaging for six years, it was not as if I was just lying down and sleeping. I was also learning so to do it all certificate the time. did you get there? Certificate. 
understanding the job so what certificate did you get sai kaiti jumale dila o do ko fahamo to do ko fahamo no we no so be that is what i got there where is that certificate the certificate only aben kuno kono it's inside my head look stop playing games with the commission and respect the commission and answer questions properly amunta ko momenti commission ni mbunya ye jabi lolu ke anyama ni ye ni ka certificate there ke ni ka men fo ya kaito dila le ko ni londi kari soton ne ake ni ni ka wo kaito le la ani no nothing to show for it sen sen ti je men kaiti ti je men sai tande ko ngani londi kari karan ne correct fonde Okay. And you rose to become head of special operations. And ila kulu na ta wuli wala nyama foyi na ta ke wo bunda fa mo nyato ngodi e ka fa bunda me special operations. Yes. With no certificate apart from grade 9. Certificate do te bulu na manke grade 9 londo te. Yes. Mar ni certificate tel do do ko. I was working alongside those who had certificates. I don't want to get into that. Do you think it is fair that people have diplomas in other ad fields of advanced learning? You have only your grade nine certificate, and you are their boss. Do you think it's fair? It is fair. Mere ni nti linta le dulu karanta hano for your diploma lu soto londi silo luto silang yene palaso detaila me ya longo wale be wala palaso nyato andu ite grade nine le soto wali la diploma for ti linta le. Councilor, I don't think any of us answered the question. Is it fair? If they had taken somebody with primary four, and brought him in and made the person director of operations, and you answer to that person, do you think that would be fair? Say new marina the primary four didn't do ya ke director of operations lang ite bo koto do kuala ite dung be grade ite grade nine sort of ite do ya mero muti limo limo tibang limo limo karang limo mara bo mungke limo tibang it's proper education and responsibility is not the same thing, Mr. Witness. Say do our system does not work like that. Our system says to get to this point, you have to have this level of education. Na system na kulo la ya men kani njang, akani na kani kuhi njanta ni londi kari soto na le ya kaito soto isina ni mpala si kari soto puruka do koki ni. You did not have the qualifications. Andu ite ma wo kaito soto. The only qualification you had was beating people. Ite londo men soto ela karo like wala ni ndeka molo lipa. That's the only qualification you had, which made you rise in that special operations. Londo wala mli paro londo yewe le soto yeme yitandi wala na yewe palaso soto. Ala me yende da be sebe ya rinte na mana mo lipa. God is my witness. I have never beaten anybody. Al Quran ini mudah betul dia mahu yang sain ni lipro. Baik baik Quran. What's your name again? Eko itu dong. Lamin Dam. Lamin M Dam. Lam. Lam Dam. Lamin Lamin M Dam. And what's your position? Ia pelajar semua menteri. Officer commanding. What? Officer commanding. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hold a second. Ella Mendo Mendi. Lamin Dabo, Officer Commanding Special Operations. Lamin Dabo, Officer Officer Commanding Special Operations. No. Then. Then yes. You are now special. You are now Officer Commanding what? Say Officer Commanding Regiment Palace Jamal. Gunjur Command. Gunjur Command, the whole region. Ndumumel. Yes. Fantastic. And you said you've never tortured anybody. You've never 
lift your hand and touch anybody. That's I never said I uh, never raised my hand and hit someone. I said torture, that I never tortured anyone. What do you understand torture to mean? Yeah, torture, Nico torture, you faham nyadile, it aja nyadile. Which one thing I may understand as torture? What I understand torture to be is very far from beating. It's far from beating. Yeah. Interesting. I've, because ning, okay, okay. Ah, oning, 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 but hero man, lipa ro man ke kelimu. That is not the same with beating. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, mudem lipa ro ti. What is beating? Beating, I know you can beat somebody and uh, the person experiences body pain. Or you slap the individual. Yeah, but torture is different. But torture is different. Understand. By my understanding. And in the interaction of it with with you see, Mr. Witness, this is why training is important. Okay. This is why education is important. You people are just promoted and given jobs. Without the requisite level of education. And that is a serious tragedy for our country. Especially for sensitive institutions like the National Intelligence Agency. The sad thing is a lot of you people do not even have an inkling of what is an intelligence agency, what it is supposed to be. In most countries, the intelligence agency is staffed by the people with the highest level of education and appreciation in the country. Intelligence, is that your testimony? Well, for the more and more like Kumakawati. Nali Paroke Damin, the Ninga Kalam, the best Nali Paroke. Yes, I did beatings. No, go near the go a Kunkali Paroke, the Barambuka Tochok, and go near a case for Yamia Langali Paroke, Yamba for Langali Paroke. He said, I, I did uh, do beatings, but not torture. But if you mention any case where I actually did the beating, I'll admit it. Uh, the question is, what are you telling the commission? You are only beating, but you are not torturing. Is that your testimony? If I said that, it means I am admitting to beating or torture. Yeah. You just told the commission that you were beating, but you were not torturing. No. There is a difference. a difference between beating and understanding. I need torture. Those folk and them are going to be butterone. They are butterone. They are going to be torture. No, for cancel. I didn't tell you whether I I I beat. Or, or torture. I was just trying to give you the difference between the definitions of beating and torture by my understanding. Mr. Witness, mm -hmm. are yeah. we in a different room? From the bundo le kono? No, we are in the same room. You told the commission a little while ago. No. That you are disagreeing without hearing what I have to say. So the attitude is just to say no. 
amunda wala mnyindi nyine be kono ka fodoro hani you told the commission a little while ago yenyim fo commission ay wati sutun commando i asked the question nanyinin ka roleke you you are you telling this commission that you've never raised your hand to beat anybody ay nyinin ka nyina fo ite ko inene me bulo wulindi pour ka mo ma ka lipa you said no you did not say that iko hani ite mo wo fo you said yes you have raised your hand you had beaten people ifoko ye bulo wulindi le de mo lipa But you don't understand that. I didn't say that. No, for no dear, no. I didn't say that in my statement. I didn't mention this. Okay. Eko, Eko, Council Eko. Council, you said. In Kali Paro, Tocho, in Kami Nke, we are in the process of building the office, the rank of special operation. That the Tocho that I was doing, that was what elevated me to the rank that I I hold now. We are in India, no, 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 no. But in terms of going to Tocho, we are going to Kali Paro. That is what brought this uh, discussion. Eko, we are in the class of friend. All right. Let me ask the question again. Have you ever beaten anybody in your job? I cannot remember. Mr. Witness, you are lying. You are simply lying. I have all your statements here and all your documents. In fact, let me just Wait, let me go to your statement. I will take a look at it carefully and uh, we will come back to that. Baji bela kende kende murula na nje kan. Your testimony is you have never touched anybody. Amunda ila sede yaro kam men fulam nti ete nene mam moma. You've never beaten anybody. Nene mam moli pa frank. Good. Nama nam nama nam mobuti na na hakilo to sign. I never I never beat up anybody. And answer clearly. I cannot remember. So witness Playing games. I cannot remember. Not playing games. You cannot remember ever hitting anybody, or you have never hit anybody in the job. You are, you are putting I cannot remember as a caveat, so that when you are caught, you now say, Oh, now I remember. Amunda hakilo mamuta ilafta wale kila sembera muto ning itata kwa sedia bundi watu meng iko hal ni natale salo hakilo yaji. Nana Jamal Kijanti na mwenye anaanza na na mwenye statement di kuna mabuti. I made several trips to this place, but I never gave any information that I beat up anybody. Just answer the question. The question is not whether in your statement you have said you have beaten anybody. That's not the question. The question is. Ila si de ila. Mr. Witness, answer my question. Okay. You cannot be answering your own question. You understand? Mm -hmm. Have you ever beaten anybody in your job? And don't give me this remember thing. Answer yes or no. I never beat up anybody in the course of my work. Thank you very much. In fact, do you realize that you are the most notorious torturer at the NIA? Menu be tuo bota tajire yala ena ite ite fomu bolekolo. 
is not true. In fact, do you realize that you are, apart from Alaji Moore, you are the second most mentioned torturer at the NIA? For Emmanuel Nonko, Alaji Moore Kola. Menu dia muda ye tolu menu for itulah moti mento latajire ya siata ye tolu menu for itulah to siata to for ulu kono alaji mor kola. You for the woman keto nyati. That was said. It is it is not the truth. All the witnesses who testified against you that you are the boss of the torturers, they were all lying against you. Menu be dia muda jang. Iko tajiri ulu kono mene kama ulu tilimbali ya itele muila nyato mkoti kafuko sai ikafuko ulu bebe faniyala mene ofujang ya mira kumole fa be faniyala those who say those things are always speaking what they want to say to say and it's a lie now let's talk about now let's these are allegations against me yes because. What is so special about you that all these people would come and lie against you? Say, muna na ite mu jumali ti hanu foni mulo baby na la jangi baby ite kilim tofola muna muoti fe ite da manne jije bang. All mulo mu jumani jumali ti silang na me. In fact, who are those individuals? And just answer the question. Ani kenyi ni kama na kuyo jabi. Malo muna ibula wala. I do not know what led them to say those things. Let's talk about Lamin Kabu. Lamin Kabu la kumovu. And his arrest. Alamuto. And that of uh, the people who was uh, he was being investigated with. Anumulu ibani menu la kuo kisi kisi kanyola. Lamin Kabu. Lamin Kabu. Fernando Ku. Fernando Ku. And Sumana Fati. And Sumana Fati. Uh, Lamin Sima. Lamin Sima. Tijandu. Tijandu. Alaji Sajo. Alaji Sajo. And others. Anindo makot. Anindo kotengu. Did you touch any one of them? Fodun ulu kono ita bulo man ma hani mo kilin ne kono. All these people that you have mentioned. I had known nothing about their issue. I did not touch any one of them. Yeah. Yes. During the course of that entire operation, what I did there, I said, I told the investigators, I think I even told you. Which is? Wala munti. Kwa operation o kono. I said that during the course of the operation. During mbote Brikama. When we left Brikama. Nata. Modul ningo operation o kodo nyi mbote. So people who had that operation money ran away. Ani suspected drug o nyi. With the suspected drugs. Do ba yindi rola. So we were in that chase. Okay. Mol min operation grano to Brikama. At the operation ground in Brikama, the people who were arrested there were taken to Banjul. Okay. We came to Banjul in the night. I cannot remember. Babu Babu Cham Banjul. Babu Cham and some other person, I cannot remember, were the ones that were brought to Banjul. Bring all drop Banjul. When we dropped them at Banjul. They will proceed to another guest house to the Bakote. We proceeded to one guest house in Bakote. All right. Okay, finish. Ah, kwe abang. Okay. Oba, nteng Allah guest house also with mom, eh, Lamin Hydra, aning one mom, eh, one mom with Sise. I spent the night there with Lamin Hydra and one mom with Sise and them Bombay. Them Bombay, if I can remember. But four of us or three of us. Then we get for some under around yeah. 11 mafan. We were there in the morning around 11 a.m. Mona had done the guest house auto. Someone came and uh, entered the guest house. Okay, by Jenny, Jenny morning mina. But before that person came in, bring around after 10 some under. Around after 10 a.m. Another Hydra Kumandi, Lamin uh, Hydra. They called Lamin Hydra. Because at least financial director then. Because he was the then financial director. So that he could go to the office and attend to people. He left me and Mamadou Sise. Okay. Mamadou Sise, before after 11. 
So I was there with Mahmoud Sisi until this time, um, after 11. We saw a man come in and enter into the guest house. Okay. He started running. I told Mahmoudou to wait for him until he enters inside. So as soon as he got in, we followed and we found him at the reception. No sooner did he see us, then he began to run. We chased him. And we, and we chased after him. We chased him from that restaurant. He went up to the back of the SOS. He ran across the road. Okay. We got into one street. Was uh, it was the street was heading towards uh, is heading towards uh, Koto. A cell defense was sent. He climbed over a fence. Kalafta bira cell defense was sent. Kalafta jolo nanga nanga kokani fight niye jolo mbe buna kidola. He climbed on the fence and wanted to jump to the other side. And I told him, don't do it because if you try that, I will shoot you. I jamin kalafta fight la nanga wone sot kesento. But he wanted to throw himself over to the other side of the fence, and I shot a warning shot. He was on the fence, and he saw me coming. As I was getting closer to him, he tried to jump over. I shot him on the leg. Was he armed? For when I was shooting him, I did not know about that. But when I found him and picked him up, I did not see any arms with him. Did he threaten you to with harm in any way? Fire silandi lo kombe ni kuka rikere wa la ayjorang bondi ke silandi. Hani? No. But in a brief into ngani information oso toko se jine bisa oso jaro dolbe ni kono. During the course of my briefing, I was informed that there were some ex Jerusalem soldiers who were involved in this drug Mr. operation. Here, here, here you are. You just shot at somebody who was running away. So that I could apprehend him, yes. Any threat? So that I could apprehend yes. So the that I could apprehend is, him. Were you under any threat? In in Karom, you need four. It is better to move to Otumu. It be sila nyale kono banka wa fukube kelela. Of course. What threat? You know what sila nyadi? Me me no malong anu na sot unge kibaro sotoko. Jine bisa osoyer fula bini nukono le. But person that I was pursuing, I did not know the person, and I also got information that two Guinea Bissau soldiers were involved in this operation. Uh, Mr. Witness, you yeah. did not see the person with any arm. He was climbing over a fence. You even had the chance to speak to him. Correct? I was talking to him, yes? yes. But at a very far distance. Yes, but you did not see any weapon pointed at you. He was far away from you. Why did you shoot him? I shoot him so that he will not, he cannot es he will not escape from me. Precisely. I shot him so but that he will not but escape. But do you think that is a justifiable use of force? I know one in shot in the air. But I, I I gave him a warning shot in the air. But it is Can justifiable. Okay. Okay. Just a moment. If something was happening here and I come and give a warning shot and people don't respond, I have a right to shoot them. Council, drug operation is always risky, very, very risky. Uh, what was the risk against you? This guy was climbing over the fence, he had no weapon, you were under no threat. What was the risk against you? Direction, direction, 
So now I'm buying more than four more phones. And we are not like being bullied. Because so you're all living in Kokoma. As a casaunda maske, no, I can't do the phone. Can you? Mr. Wisman is coming from the that was the only area that he was know. running towards. And I also got information that there were ex soldiers. There were soldiers in this operation. So perhaps he was just trying to take me to a zone where they could compromise Danger me. Danger one. Yeah, Mr. Witness. Sir, mm -hmm. you perceived no immediate threat to you. There was none. Of course. Where was it? There was a threat. Where was the threat? In that fence, in that compound, I don't know who is there or what is there. And that is the threat? Yes, to me, yeah. Mr. Witness, you are truly one of a kind. What kind? You are not truthful. Thank you. You are not truthful. America. Thank you. There was absolutely no threat. You saw him with no weapon. All he was doing was running away. By the fact that he was climbing over the fence means that he was getting away from you and not coming to you. There was no threat to you. Yes. Shooting him was unjustified. I accept. And when you went back to the NIA, nothing happened to you. I don't bring more the NIF. Who could be bombed here? Kumankela. You are not even investigated for shooting him. Anika itela ko kusikisi ka foko yomo le bum afongo mango afongo manke. Er fe fe mo ma boto and wole wole no shooting wole fanya ati nengo kodo ni droko ni recover. But nothing was hidden. But that shooting that I did also led to the recovery of the money and the drugs. And you think that uh, that uh, the fact that you have recovered money has justified the shooting that you made? Kafuka aliye kolo ni nje wale duya atilindi silo lako e otaite bundiro menge wale nyanda. Kansu mungi mbuki dola puka fa na shudle puka apprehend. Council, I did not shoot this individual even to kill him. I shot him to apprehend it him. Was, it was excessive use of force. I know, symbol and Agreed. In fact, you were trigger happy during that operation. Anyone that knows a gun would not be trigger happy. Well, that was not the first set of bullets you, you issued. But a monkey go along to the five followed it. Those are not the first shots you fired. A monkey go That is the first fire bullet I fire. That is not true. Apart from my, apart from Bill Abbott and now one shot left. Apart from the warning shot which I released earlier on. The operation the night before you fired shots. No. A lot of young young follow men get a suit or young new funny cow. You can know if I did. Oh, man, so the witness all night again. Be no sin in the Very well. That is not true. And I told you, investigators, I did not fire. That was an allegation. What happened? Did bullets come out of your weapon? Of course, yes. In the car that I was in. But, but that's not true. You just said that as a cover up. You fired shots. Council, the taxi driver was here, and he attested to that. He attested to what? To the misfire that was that occurred in his car. Which taxi driver? The taxi driver came here. We all came here our first trip with that taxi driver, and a witness to that that particular incident. There was uh, a, so there was, was a shootout in that operation. Shoot out. Yes. So 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 confirmed it. No, that's so, not the, that's not correct. So That's not correct. Mr. Witness, you were you were quick to, to fire your weapon. You wanted to hurt people. No, that's it, not correct. Operation it, 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 it,
Yes. Bullets were fired from your gun. I don't kiss on fight a cabana kid over. I have misfire and I get that side of the story. That was in the taxi, in between my legs. Time to go in taxi so. It has been penetrated. Taxi driver taxi. came here. Did the you, witnesses did came you have here. any injuries? Fight I'm not for anything a man kai but also. I did not say that down. it hit my leg. It it went downwards and bore a hole through it the taxi. We would look further into that, but I know I could recall so I asked him these questions. No you belale bareng hakilos we are so nyin kale. We are shots fired and he said yes. For kido fight la no so ko ha operation no nyin wuche ko no. Let's move on. As far as I'm concerned. No, no, let's mm -hmm. move on. Let's mm -hmm. move on. Let me, please, allow yes. me. Go ahead. Ndela Kalamta Rodo. As far as I'm aware. What operation of brilliant sent to reinforce these people? When I was sent to make uh, as reinforcement in operation, Brikama Kembuje. For well, buying and selling the attack and dummy. Up to the spot where the buying and selling was taken place. Demon sold Jordan. I did not see so, so so did not say he was present. Okay. So ma fo ka bi jede. Na yo fo ta I miss I I information the Pacific is not correct. Definitely. If he, he has said that then he passed on an information which is not correct. Fire Mr. Fire Witness. Yeah. Yeah. So never said he was present. In okay. fact he said he was not in the operation. So ma fa bi jede alu ama ama aya fo le fan carte mandar operation onyi. He was he was na ko mandra na ko mandra operation ko no that's not correct. If he says he that he went for the subsequent the arrest, that is not correct. He went for the subsequent arrest. So, so, Council, sorry, sorry to clear this point, uh -huh. please. So, in operational, entirely Musola operational, then he was the director of external CEO. Eh, sorry, what more at the director of the member of the Bantala Mold. Staff so and what is what this operation was entirely source operation because at the time he was uh, director of our agents who were posted outside. What was yeah, his title? What was his title? Uh, director of external. external. Director of external what? External affairs. What? Director of external affairs. You don't even know the proper titles of okay. the positions in the NIA. Okay, thank the you. Is there any you. position as director of external affairs? Director of Mim Martin Dula staff sold me the bandit. That's how we are. In English, what is the proper title? Who are posted outside of the Director area. responsible. The, whoever director that is responsible for external staffs, that's how we call them. Tell us the proper title. Namunda Palazzo Nilto, a calling in Inca. DEX, that's what I told you. D is what? DEX, Director of External, the, the Director of External uh, Services. <laughs> you had to. <laughs> Take it from the commissioners? It's no problem, however, I, but what I'm but, trying but to say... The it, fact it is, of the matter what, is what, I, what I'm trying to tell you, fine. Listen, if don't you, talk over me. Uh, okay. Please. Okay, I'm not talking over you. Good. <laughs> you don't even know the okay. titles of the positions at the NIA. Isn't well, that disappointing? Well, I saw him in the NIA, and he told you, he may be able to do it long. Thank you. That's very good. No, I'm on better. It is not good. It is disheartening. Thank you. Thank you. In that operation, Mr. Witness, yeah. you are operating on high octane. When when you went for the arrest of Babu Cham, didn't you? I tell you that the poor Babu Cham would have fought for them and made it. Yes, I was part of that team. No, 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 no. And when you yes. and when you arrived at the NIA with him, where did you go? We are from the NIA. Aling Ate, Etarami. Babu Cham, I cannot remember exactly. I'm not too mad about it, but I was driving my own. We didn't even find some motor. We didn't even board the car. I cannot remember which vehicle it was in, in, in Bilinga, but, but Bilinga I was motor. driving my own vehicle. Okay, being a motor park. When I parked the vehicle, Bilinga, Bilinga motor park. when we got inside and I parked the Selita vehicle, Santo. I climbed upstairs. Santo. I went inside and went upstairs. Okay. Ups, uh, conference hall. <coughs> when I was getting into the conference hall, I was charm and others had preceded me and I saw him removing his shirt. Okay, that was how I came down and went away. I did not even get into the conference hall. And that's the time we left for that uh, particular guest house. 
that interaction. Uh, Mr. Witness, mm -hmm. you have jumped a lot of things. Okay, Let's listen to Babu Cham. Please assist me. He said, you arrive there with him. You are the people who escorted him in. You deny that? That's not correct. That information is not correct, counsel. But if you were not there with him, how could you have seen him taking off his clothes? But that's what I'm telling you. Go, Babu, Mr. Babu, Mr. Witness, listen. You said you were not there with him. You did not escort him there. No, I say I did not. I did not say I did not ex escort him. Babu, from his compound in Brikama, Brikama, Brikama. From Brikama. They were team one. Can I tell you that last time I can't ban you? I was in that team. But we were the last ones to return to Brikama. Babu, 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 Mr. Witness, this is not people. about being in the same car with him. Okay. I did not get into the conference hall. Well, if you give that well, testimony, Babu Cham said, nobody will say when he the arrived there, there, listen, <coughs> when he arrived there, there was Alaji Moore present. Bre and Sukuta Jame, Sukuta Jame Bije, Lamin Bai, Lamin Bai Bije, Dembo Bai, and in Dembo Bai. And you people arrived with him. And on a telenat of the day. As soon as you arrived, Alaji Moore was beating. Alaji Moore had a mutakalipa. He was beating this other guy, Fernando Ku. A bodo lipa kareka for me, Fernando Ku. And the others. And into a kotemulu. And you joined in. Between what you made a fanata kafuma. Is he lying? A fanyal. He lied. No, but we. Testimony. Jamala testimony in number. But we can. Testimony, I listened to it. I missed some testimonies, but I listened to that of Babu Cham. He said, Kumbwanka for Kumbola, and I'm not going to do Kumbola. This is a completely lie. Babu Cham said, I got to do that. 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 Step by step, I took away, uh, and I was telling the people who were tortured and crying that if they did not keep step quiet, I was going to add the beating. But step that is a lie. Step. When you arrived, was anybody being beaten? I did not get inside. That's what I told you. I did not get inside. 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 I did not see that. So he did not remove his clothes. I saw that. The problem is, Mr. Witness, how could you not have seen it? Babu Cham is not a small man. Babu Cham man can move And he took off everything. I didn't see that. I didn't see Babu Nyai. Babu Babu Chama had a finger baby. Well, I didn't see him on the first. Okay, just see him here. Okay. You saw him taking it off, but you did not see him take it off. That is what you said, telling us. I'm not even going to focus on that. He had to go a finger baby. But he did not. He didn't find out. Okay, Jeleko, a man had a finger baby. Me momenti. Okay. I said. You said that. I said to you that. You didn't have bunda conference hall of bunda muta puruka dum. When I held on the lock of the control or call of the conference hall. And I was. 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 Council, could like you, this. Could you ask like if I want to, to either on this or whatever, I saw it. No, then you could just block on it. Council, you didn't allow me to be far. I will not sit here. Mr. Witness, please save us that. No, save, save no, I have that. to remind you, come to from the under oath. Yes, you are no. under oath. But yes. are you behaving like someone who is under oath? Of You've course. been lying consistently. I don't lie. Okay, let's proceed. Okay. Let's proceed. Okay. Yeah. And Sumana. He suffered serious injuries. Which Ansuman? Party. I, I don't know any of these people that you are talking about. I have never interacted with them throughout this operation. Even Lamin Kabu or Lamin Sima. None of them. 
And I told you this. I told you investigators. Okay. Babu Cham uh -huh. told this commission. Babu Cham, you go for commission to Jango. That when they were taken to Bambadinka, or to the Bamba cell, Dinka. to the other Bala cell. cell and Sumana told him that the injuries he suffered on his private parts were as a result of beating by Lamin Dabo. Ako, Baramulu Munu Ketabala, Hanufu Akeabala, Liparole Yosia Mayalonko, Lamin Dabo, Aliba. Okay. Sign, Council, let me tell you, moment to my long. No manage, no man interact. Now, Council, look at this, this way. Someone that I have never met, someone that I have never known, someone that I have never interacted with, Okay, yo lipa weta selo kona babu cham from that was the first night I entege. Babu we have babu cham eko lamida wole lipa fire embarama. And in conference hall me alon command dunje lipa robe kere yuwa to me. I was not there. And for that person to tell lamin cham someone that I had only seen that night, when in essence I have not even got it into the conference hall. So I leave that to you to make the judgment. No, yes, I was not there. No. I cannot be funny the Mr. 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 Witness, you answer that question. No. Why would Ansumana Fati tell uh, tell Babu Cham that it was you who inflicted that injury on him? And mm -hmm. there were a host of other NIA agents. He didn't mention any one of them. He mentioned you, Lamin Dabo. Ansumana no, no, never bafla, Ansumana bafla so. ko. Itele ya li pafe abra maake ya do. Adon NIA mo jamal le bije amamu mundi ntofo ulukolo fa yete damman ne tofo. Mina na bokela? Babu Cham ko ansmana le o fai. That is here say. Babu fine. Cham said that. But in general, my interact. Him, Babu Cham le mbang la min kabu le mbahu eva. I was not part of that investigation. I never so, interacted with him. So in general, my interact. Nda ali pala nyadi le o ayalong ko nyin la min dabo. Okay. Let's. How, how would that be someone that I have never interacted with? Let's. Oh, how would that person even know that this is la min dabo? All right. Na min ako cancel. Mr. Witness, Mr. Witness, and I told you this earlier. Mr. Witness, uh -huh. uh, allow for the interpretation. Ah, okay. you, you want what you are saying to be recorded so that oh. the commission would consider it in evaluating your evidence. So if you speak too fast, this is not a laughing matter. I'm not laughing. I cannot laugh here, Council. Okay. If you speak too fast, the interpreters may not get what you are saying, and if it is not recorded, that would not be to your advantage. So allow for time between your speech and that of the interpreter, so that everything is recorded. You understand? Good. So on this particular issue, mm -hmm. okay? Lami Babu Cham has said Babu you have attacked this, uh, this uh, suspects who were being beaten by Alaji Moore when you arrived. You, you denied that. Alaji Moore when you menu lipa kang. Brite falam futa ta drong ifalam kafute male. Amunta saing wamukuma soto balole. Ah, omenge tonya. That is not true. So that is a lie. Amunda umfani ali. Yes. Babu Cham told the commission, Babu Cham told the commission that this person, uh, Nansumana Fati, confided in him that you, the injuries he had received on his private parts were inflicted by you. That too is a lie. I am for commission and co. I catch out to move in a Babu Cham, a co. But a moment, a keabala. Ko itele ya wake wakala wakabara mwenye. Amunda ayo ayo mwenye 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 I have never gotten insight to uh, interact with them, so how would I be in a position to enjoy him? Okay. Now let's move on. Kabu. Kabu. No, before that. At this time, during this operation, who were you working with? In Tembe, we operation of Kono. It is in Jumanyo Lebedu Kualami. Mustafa Sise. Mustafa Sise. Omar Jame. Omar Jame. I understand.
Sultan uh, Dembombay was there. Dembombay. Umar uh, Lamin Hydra. Lamin Hydra. Yes, because this operation, like in coming up for Yame, as I told you, new operation on Timantra and Wakono, operation on Yimusola operation. I was not part of this operation because this was source operation. But Malong operation on Munekeda, in other reinforcement, Munekeda will fire reinforcement or call. I do not know what happened in the operation which that warranted the them to call for a reinforcement. Okay, that is the time in the key. In the telephone for the operation, that was when I was sent. So when I went up to the area where the operation was taking place, I did not understand what the operation entailed. As I explained, when I got to the place, Mustafa Sisi tra taxi kono. Omar Jam, Omar and Mustafa uh, Jamme inside the taxi. Omar Jamme and Mustafa Sisi. Uh, Omar Jamme and Mustafa Sisi. You have explained that quite clearly. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. At this time, during this operation, you were working for special operations, correct? Yes. Very cool and special operation in Otembo. Yeah. Who was yes. the head of your unit? Allahu Bunda wa Buduko al Menbe al Tel Menbe Buduko al Jamal ya Nyatonga ya. At the time, it was Alaji Moor. What's his full name? Ato Fano Bedu. It was a job, I believe. It was a job. I believe. Who was his two IC? Jamal Simba Tekang. At this time. Wa Tembo Men Matela Assistant Men Simba Tekang. Then, then, I don't know, either Gajaga or ARK Jallo, I don't know. I can't remember, sorry. But you were part of the team. I was part of the team. Uh, and yes. do you realize that this team had a bad reputation? For Emmanuel Fahamuko, Waka for Muli, you took we are in Balasu to NI agent, Malum Fialo. Alajimuru, any? I did not say Alajimur. Okay. I said this team, special operations, had a bad reputation at the NIA. A kama for Alajimur, the Barakole, Kafo Ying, Menube, Bundala, Ye Tokuma, Balasoto, NIA, Bundatuni. Intela Karamta, no Kalamta. I was not aware of that. In fact, special operations was there to carry out special tasks that interested Yaya Yami. Amunta special operations IBJ nile kama kadu kuonu dolu tama ndi mea lonko ya jame la fina kuwa lila mwuluti. Correct. That is not correct. What was their function? Ula do kuwa ilota ila lota nka umuneti nu. Special operations nile have functions for patrol. They have functions for patrolling. Patrol what? Night patrols. Night patrols. Pseudo Kandaro. Exec to carry out executive directives. Witnessing. Uh, witnessing. Executive directives of who? Jumala. Jumala. Kuma kangolo puruka yu ulu tamandi. Karu niko executive directives. Ule mkunto nkola ya marolu. Jumala modi. For for the former president. President Koto. For the former president. But I just told you. That special operations was to carry out activities which Ayajame was interested in, but you refused that. But I have a chance special operations. I can't do cool menuke. Will do cool jamabe kolo. Yeah, jamabe la fina kolo la multi balanta. Direct directives be book carry interest code. All the directors directives were not always matters that interested him. Are you with us? For the elemental colonel ban. Of course, I'm with you. you can't. He gives he gives a directive. He is the chief executive, the commander in chief. Okay, I agree. I agree. I agree. Sondan. I agree. And in the minister, minister Bondi, the minister does send the telephone and witness. And also, when a minister is uh, sacked and been replaced by the other, we usually witness that also. No, you enforce it. No, I, tell I, I witness it. I don't. Info. I witness it. Yes. Mr. Witness. Yes. You don't just go and stand and witness. You go and enforce it. Al buga talo ron kalo kaju be roke ne. Al kajele ko aike anyamal aliyataman. Then I mean be attend non feng enforce. I witness it.
all the occasions that I, I was present in, I did not enforce anything. I only witnessed it. Okay. Only, okay. only uh, senior claim. Only one, once. Uh, this new uh, the government's name Mar 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 Firdaus, huh? The case of the government and uh, Mar Firdaus. I don't remember her name. But only I can recall her name properly. Yes, go ahead. Ten, ten. Okay. When I was sent there to go there and be a witness, it was uh, It was uh, close to 7 p.m. Uh, I went and found Edu Gomez. undertaking over He was to take over from Mari. From Mari. Okay. Mari had a call. Okay. Mary made a call and spoke to him, and Mary said that she was not feeling well. Okay, I got a message relayed back to my my boss. Then Liz Gomez, I got a I relayed the message back to my boss, then Liz Gomez, and I said to him that the outgoing minister, Kaman Kendia, why not Ngabula Je for some Somanda? The outgoing minister has reported uh, sick. Why don't we leave this thing and carry it out tomorrow? Okay, I'll get back to you. And he said, okay, I'll get back to you. So another call called again. But then he called me again. Press down, go for at length, press down the phone to them, phone to them, press down. Okay. The press down call. The president said, is the lady the president or he is the president? No, I call. Press down, call. He said, the president said that. I that suggested that the woman be allowed until tomorrow. Whether I am the president or he was the president. Okay. And and what did that mean? It means we have to do it by force. The, the, the taking handing and taking over has to take place. So I drive not Edu Tije, Ndaba Ndaba Marino Mas Ala Swokon. So I left Edu there and I drove and I went and met a Mari in her home. Anka ko please and I said to her please bring you not the am bring you the am da ko ya sama sumanda ba to the family kai ko sama sama sumanda ba to after we spoke and I suggested to you to wait until tomorrow because I suggested that to her. Bring report back ta when I reported back okay inja bi men na the response that I got. I couldn't, I couldn't take the risk, which was why I had to drive to her house to appeal to her so that she could come and effect the handing over. Did she have a choice? No, she doesn't. She doesn't. Exactly. She doesn't have a choice. But, but, but this about. is what I told you, that you were to enforce these changes. So this you said you were only to witness. Okay. This is why I'm going to only, in the form of I remember only once. Mr. That Wilkos, is Marcin in the case. I told you that. I was the one that told you that there was only when one I time. I remember only one case. The this case is of not enforced. This is it. The government and Marie, Marie is still that. alive. Mr. I am Wilkos, alive. The issue is, Komumendi, your role as special operations in this in in with regards to these executive orders mm -hmm. was to implement them to enforce them by force that was no rule uh, to make sure that it happened a lot of lament were executive orders la carola william nyinti ko alia ko tamandi ayke ko anyanta ala ate lafta la nyaming amunta william ko kumuti i accept not to waste your time and to to trouble you or to trouble myself, I accept. Well, I think if you are honest and truthful, mm -hmm. we would proceed very quickly. Mm -hmm. but but if you lale. think you can play games and waffle around and lie, at the end of the day, we will get the answers that we need. You would have wasted a lot of time.
This is not a place to play games. stop playing games. What are you going to this is why I bring it to you. I told you that we never enforced, but then I remember this issue. That was why I brought it to you. To your attention. Now. Do you know what executive directive means? For an executive directive, a court of a woman, the Kalimo, a court of a woman, the Alan. Mr. Chairman. The, the, the directives of the president, the instructions of the president that a particular act must be done. Yes. Do you have a choice in that? For yeah, 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 I will bring an instant to you, please. That of um, Usman Jame. Bra Usman Jame Bonni. When Usman Jame was sat. Usman Jame handing over. Ke. And uh, uh, requested that he, he makes a handing over. Um, it was in the rainy season. It was during the rainy season. I think, but in hiding highway, Jang. By the Barton Harden Highway. Energy Ministry. Dabe ni Usman tada foje. I went there at the Energy Ministry with Usman. Kurango tada. The lights went off. So, mang mang handing over, taking over Keno. We couldn't effect the handing over and taking over. Nga call ke back to the office. I appealed. I made a call back to the office and appealed. Mr. Witness, yeah. please don't waste our time. Okay. The question was whether you had a choice. No, I don't have a choice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. So, Chair, perhaps we can take the coffee break. Thank you. Microphone. Saying that, um, uh, witness, you can prevaricate and prevaricate, but we are going, this commission is going to extract the tooth. We will take a 30-minute break, a month for coffee, and then come back. Meetings adjourned. Thank you.